The hour is one o'clock, lunchtime. In Homer's Odyssey, the Lestragonians are islanders who host a sinister, cannibalistic feast, and Odysseus and the crew are on the menu. In Ulysses, Bloom is swallowed whole by the city of Dublin. Tracing our rough map of Bloom's path through the city streets reveals the general outline of the human digestive tract. Down the esophagus, through the guts, and out the other end. It is though Bloom is being processed through the body of the city, repulsed by the patron's eating habits in the Burton Hotel, no more refined than the gulls over the Liffey, he retreats to the haven of Davy Byrne's Moral Pub, which still does a roaring trade to this day. For an episode so focused on food, it also contains some of the most poignant and grim portrayals of poverty in Dublin. Joyce highlights the very real and debilitating effects of insufficient nutrition. The representation of Simon Daedalus's daughter and Stephen's sister is particularly harrowing. The episode winds its way to a conclusion on Kildare Street. Bloom spots Blaze's Boylan, his wife's Molly's lover, for the second time that day, and, mirroring Odysseus's flight from the island of the Lestragonians, escapes safe into the sanctuary of the National Library. <laughs> <laughs>